at the 2009 International Council of Air Shows Convention in Las Vegas, Nevada, this year held at the Paris Las Vegas. We had the chance to spend a bit of time with a number of the air show performers and professionals, engage their input on what the year has been like, and more important, how the industry is looking for the future. So question number two for this year's convention attendees, the professionals here, very simply, how do you feel the air show industry is evolving or changing? Well, you know, these are pretty tough times, and the air show industry is, from a sponsorship standpoint, is not in the greatest of, of um, you know, it's pretty tough. I've seen some of my peers lose their sponsors because there's not a lot of dough, and the first thing, sports marketing, they start pulling back. But I got to tell you, through my experience the last couple years now, especially last year, I've seen a huge, huge increase in spectators coming to the shows and it's just awesome. The industry is evolving in that we're growing in terms of learning how to be better mentors to the new people and I think that's going to leave us in, in good hands downstream. I've been over 20 years an ICAST member and what I've learned as an ICAST member and from other mentors that I've had has really helped me be become the person and define me the person that I am today. The one thing that's impressed me most is this whole atmosphere of safety that everyone's really pushing now. And I think a lot of people are really grasping onto that. The past two years, there really hasn't been any fatalities during air shows, so that's improving. And uh, we're all looking out for each other, so I think that's a dramatic improvement. The business has to evolve as technology and different entertainments evolve. And air shows have always been really bad about uh, falling behind with the times. They're staying with things the way they were back in the 60s and whatnot. And, which is fine keeping that tradition there, but it's like with the Pirated Skies thing that we came up with, you know, we have uh, Johnny Depp and Disney and everything with the Pirates of the Caribbean to thank for all the big hype on pirates now, and that was partially where I got the inspiration for this act, and so that's gone over very well for us. It's certainly getting more glitzy and glamorous, and people are getting much better at selling and marketing, and uh, there's, uh, there's the old-fashioned guys that just sort of depend on getting it done, and there's really, really good marketers. So I think marketing and sponsorship is really uh, becoming more and more important. And it actually is making it more safe, too, because sponsors don't want bad things happening to their product uh, representation. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. You look around the convention hall here today and you just see a, a lot more uh, professional, business-like uh, uh, approach to things. You know, it used to be most of the guys just hung up a couple of pictures on a single booth and, uh, and that was it. But uh, you look around and you see it just being treated more like a business. We're seeing changes in this industry that, that I think mostly are positive in that air show attendance is up. Uh, there's a broader form of entertainment, I think, now. You're seeing uh, sponsors come on board who see the value in air shows who maybe did not see that before. And we we're certainly seeing that with ours and realize, you know, this is kind of an untapped market. It's a great opportunity to get your ideas or products or messages out in front of people. So we're seeing more and more of that. And we're seeing technology catch up, you know, smaller cameras, HD cameras, which allow us to take what we do and present it to the public because we can put those cameras in the airplane. So there's more awareness. I'm seeing enthusiasm uh, come and go in waves. And I think right now we are, we are on the upswing. Uh, from what has been happening in the last few years. I think because we're getting smarter, because we're getting leaner, and because we're doing things better and more efficient, that we're appealing to more people. We're able to get the crowds out on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday afternoon to the air shows because it looks much more inviting than it used to in the past. I think the industry is still struggling a little bit with trying to get um, the attention of the corporate world. and. The good things that are happening is some people who recognize that, and I like to think I'm one of them, are willing to change the way they approach and go to market with their, their sponsorship strategy and their value proposition of the corporate world. 
I think more people need to become self-aware of what their value proposition really is so that when they go to market with their sponsorship value proposal, they have a concise story to tell. They're pitching what the sponsors want to hear, not what they want to tell them. Right now, I think we're headed back to the point where we're reminding that we're entertainers and illusionists, and we should give the... Our number one priority is the safety of the spectator and entertain them. And if we can give the illusion of danger, of the illusion of it, and, and you know, make them catch their breath once in a while, but go away excited with an adrenaline rush, then we've done our job. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. Well, there's no one evolution that I would say. I'd say it's going in many streams. Uh, if you look at the critiques from the audience, they love the jet teams and the warbirds and even the war static displays. I see uh, guys out there trying to do more things. One or two performers teaming up, forming small alliances, guys reaching out, doing a few new things. We've got a couple guys doing new light shows at night, I'm trying to use the technology to match what we do. I've been doing this now for 31 years and it has changed dramatically and uh, it's definitely an air show market. There is just a glut of performers and uh, I've just, but that's been changing and it's really, I think, peaking out actually at this point. We, we have fuel issues, we have issues with FAA and things that are slowly eroding our rights that scares me a lot for our future. So um, I, I would say um, being in the fuel business with Chevron Global Aviation, that's our biggest threat in my opinion right now. Well, I like to see the, the big sponsorships coming in, and I like to see the outside money and the outside sponsorship coming in. And the more of that that we can get, the more credibility that we add to an air show marketing program. You know, this is an overused phrase, but it's the untapped potential. Especially this year, with the almost 20% increase of air shows across the board, it's a great family venue and the type of sponsor and the type of business that's going to want to be associated with it are the types that want to market to families. There's uh, technologies obviously playing a little bit of a part. Um, you know, a lot of the uh, things that we used to do on paper are now, you know, being done on computers, that sort of thing. The airplanes, some of them are evolving. You know, there's a lot of carbon fiber airplanes out there, a lot of these uh, new composite airplanes that can do maneuvers that we never dreamed of, you know, 20 years ago. But there's a lot of things that don't change. You know, it's uh, people still go to air shows to see the impossible take place. You know, that's just uh, that they want to be entertained. And whether you're entertaining them in a 66-year-old airplane like I fly, or a brand new store-bought airplane that uh, you picked up last month that'll, you know, pinwheel out of sight. You know, there's there's room. I guess there's room in the industry for all that.